It was Africa's finest wordsmith and master storyteller, Chinwe Achibe, now of blessed memory, who said that those who bring home ant infested firewood must be prepared for the visit of lizards. These words are true for every manager of public affairs, especially one conferred with such sacred duty by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, and who has subscribed to the oath of allegiance and the oath of office to observe very strictly the code of conduct to ensure good governance and accountability in the prudent management of public finances. River State Government, under former Governor Chibike Rotimi Amechi's watch, earned an excess of 3 trillion naira from the statutory federation account, 13% derivation, and internally generated revenue, IGR, between October 2007 and May 2015. It will be recalled that River State maintained the record of being the highest crude oil and gas producer in Nigeria a status that was restored to her especially from 2006 until 2012 when some of its oil wells again were lost to neighboring states in unpalatable circumstances. The state continues to serve as the epistar of oil and gas activities in the Niger Delta thus making her one of the self-sustaining states in Nigeria. In River State from October 26, 2007 to May 29, 2015, it has been a sad story of monumental corruption and of financial impunity in the conduct of governmental affairs. It is indeed a tragic story of corruption, purifigacy, financial recklessness, and a tenure marked by the determination of one man and one man alone to plunder the resources of oil-rich River State, leaving its indigents poorer. At the end of the invasion, Chibike Rotimi Amici conquered the resources of River State, became so prodigal, while poverty today stares on the faces of the victims of its Belinga territory, and which the indigents of the state have aptly described its unfortunate tenure and mad era as the tragedy of the rivers of corruption. In this edition, the Integrity Group, a non-governmental organization based in River State, determined to wage war against corruption and whose aim is to insist on high moral code for public office holders. Good governance, poverty reduction, and justice for the people will bring you a few examples of how not to manage public resources in the exercise of public power. The group is determined to unmask Amici's tendencies established long ago. Indeed, Sir Robert Louis, Stevenson in his 1886 literary fable titled The Strange Case of Dr. Jacquel and Mr. Hedy revealed the dual or split personality of Amici. To outsiders, a governor Amici was a Dr. Jackie and to us in River State who know him thoroughly well, he was Mr. Hedy. The integrity group in order to prove the veracity of its complaint of malfeasance against the tragedy of Governor Mechi's misrule has sworn to affidavits of truth with clear proof of allegations and would challenge Rotimi Mechi to step out, not by proxy, and defend these allegations. It is particularly sad, unfortunate, tragic, and deceptive, criminal, dishonest, and totally contradictory of a man who a few days back publicly declared a phony reception organized by a motley of his co-travelers and beneficiaries of his extreme thiefery and prodigality that he, Chubike Rotimi Amici, does not like money and that those who know him know that in River State he does not like money. Only God knows that if there is one thing I don't like, I don't like money. If you are close to me, you will know I don't like money. Anybody who is close to me and tells you I like money needs to go and repent before God. See it thou great Nigerians, that the good people of the world, a man who does not like money, yet in just three projects looted whooping 72 billion naira of public funds. This 72 billion naira was misappropriated from these three sources, namely a fraudulent sale of River State Independent Power Project at Omoko, Elime, Transamadi, Port Harcourt, and Afam and the personal conversion of the proceeds amounting to 60 billion 180 million 
the unlawful payment to and fraudulent conversion of four billion six hundred and thirty three million four hundred and forty thousand by Cleanotech Turnkey and Management Limited Specialist Hospital and Leisure Limited for the building of a multi story Justice Adolfo's Caribbean White Specialist Hospital, a Guru Airport haircut that cannot be located anywhere. The unlawful enrichment of Mrs. Collect Nigeria Limited with public funds to the tune of one billion five hundred and five million. 895,698 Naira, 70 Kobo, and diversion of 7 billion, 500 million Naira. Let us present the details of the three fraudulent transactions. Fraudulent sales of River State Independent Power Projects. Background. The Integrity Group would like to acknowledge for historical purposes that the River State Independent Power Project was conceived, initiated, built, and nurtured by His Excellency Dr. Peter Wardley, Commander of the Order of the Niger, C.O.M., Governor of River State, May 29, 1999 to May 29, 2007. Dr. Peter Wardley painstakingly undertook the construction of the Omoko Transamari Port Haircut and Ilime Power Plant while the River State Government purchased the Afam Power Project from Shell Petroleum Development Company Limited. Let over recall that it was the success story of Audley Administration's independent power project that excited former President Lushe Goa Basenger to undertake the then seven new national independent power project NIPP at Ebema, Omoko, Baran, Ubie, Aleji, Odukbani, Omosho, and Beraku so as to increase Nigeria's national power generation capacity. The River State Government, led by His Excellency Dr. Peter Wadley, has spent billions of Naira to build the independent power project, utilizing the abundant gas in Omoko, Transamadi, Eleme, and Afam to generate electricity and boost socio-economic activities in the state. The turbine were managed by the first independent power limited, a state-owned company in which the State Ministry of Finance Incorporated held 299,099,996 out of 300 million fully paid up ordinary shares on behalf of the state government. However, for some unexplainable reasons, these assets were hurriedly and irrationally sold on the Imperator's directive and approval of Governor Ruth Miyamichi to NG Power, HPS Limited for $302,400,000, that is $60 billion only at the official exchange rate of $1 to $200 Naira. There is evidence that NG Power HPS Limited paid the full value of the sale to the River State Government through the Power Access Sale Proceeds account with Access Bank PLC. However, the proceeds of the sale have simply disappeared from the State Government account. The Accountant General of the State and other very senior management staff, including the Directors and Permanent Secretaries of the State Ministries of Power and Finance, all claimed total ignorance about the whereabout or justifiable utilization of the money realized from the sale of the state's uh, priceless power assets under very spurious circumstances and actualized by fraudulent intents. What was evidently criminal intent? and purpose is that between 1st and 8 December 2014 a total of 405 million US dollars that is 21 billion Naira was curiously and hurriedly transferred from the power asset sale proceeds account with Access Bank PLC to the account of three private companies all with the same business address of number 25 Transamari Road Pritharcourt and all the transactions were made between the 1st and 8 December 2014. The details are as follows. Transaction date, beneficiary company and address. Amount transferred. 1st December 2014. Adventi Consulting and Marketing Company, 25 Transamadi Road, Port Harcourt. 10 million US dollars. 1st December 2014. Result Import Export Company, 25 Transamadi Road, Port Harcourt. 15 million US dollars. The 1st December 2014, Capital Index Limited, 25 Transamari Road, Port Harcourt, 20 million US dollars. 1st December 2014, Capital Index Limited, 25 Transamari Road, Port Harcourt, 25 million US dollars. 
8 December 2014, Capital Index Limited, 25 Transamerdi Road, Port Harcourt, 15 million US dollars. 8 of December 2014, Capital Index Limited, 25 Transamerdi Road, Port Harcourt, 10 million US dollars. 8 December 2014, Capital Index Limited, 25 Transamerdi Road, Port Harcourt, 10 million US dollars. Intense curiosity. Integrity Group is completely alarmed by its investigation and findings of the particulars of the three companies that served as conducts for the plundering of the River State Funds by Rotmiya Mechi. Integrity Group has conducted search within the Corporate Affairs Commission, CAC Abuja, and the findings are revealing and shocking. First, all three companies, namely Adventi Consulting and Management Company, a result import export company and capital index limited all have their address as number 25 Transamerdi Road, Port Harcourt, River State. A visit to Transamerdi Road, Port Harcourt shows that number 25 is the location of Wimmer Bank PLC, Transamerdi, Port Harcourt. We present here all that are joining addresses, namely number 21. 23 24 Transamerdi Road without any trace of the said beneficial companies. Search report at Corporate Affairs Mission, CAC Abuja. The Integrity Group engaged the services of a law firm to undertake due diligence search with the Corporate Affairs Commission, CAC, and the report obtained thereof as stunning. Adventi Consulting and Management Limited with RC number 806252 was incorporated on 11 March 2009 with a registered office address of number 25 Transamerdi Road, Port Harcourt. Its shared capital is 500,000 and there has been no increase in its share capital. Its main objects, among others, are to carry on business as financial consultant to provide services as technical support service provider, to manufacture or otherwise procure, advertise, market, sell, install, and service logistics. Support tools and packages. It has directors and their names and addresses are Obiako Nemeka, number 25 Transamadi Road, Port Harcourt, River State. Lili Taria, OCJE Taria, number 25 Transamadi Road, Port Harcourt, River State. Lili Taria Mana, 19 Mission Avenue, Abuloma, Port Harcourt, River State. The shareholders of the company and their shares are as follows. Shareholders, shares, Obianko, Nimika, 250,000, number 25, Transamari Road, River State. Lili Taria, CJ, 250,000, number 25, Transamari Road, Port Harcourt, River State. The company has no secretary but has fully made and paid its annual returns for the year 2010 to 2013. Capital Index Limited with RC number 473208 was incorporated on February 19, 2003 with its registered office address as 37 Border Road, GRA Phase 2, Port Harcourt, River State. Its shares capital is 1 million, which was increased to 5 million on the 25th June 2007. The main objects of the company, among others, is to establish companies and associations for the persecution and execution of understandings, works, projects, or enterprises of any description, whether of a private or public character in Nigeria or elsewhere or to acquire on the right and dispose of shares and interest in such companies or associates or in any other company or association or in the undertaking thereof. The directors of the company and the addresses are Obianko Nimiyamika, 37 Border Road, GRA, Phase 2, Protagot, River State. Tina Besoy Bibi, 37 Border Road, GRA, Phase 2, Protagot, River State. Ayana Onyanaka. 37 Border Road, GRA Phase 2, Port Harcourt, River State, later removed. Lillian Taria Mana, 8 Bonnie Street, Port Harcourt, River State. Adele Ifainwa, 17 Amadi Close, Rumumase, River State. 
A shares allotment as at 2014 are as follows. Shareholders. Shares. Capdex nominees limited. 1 million. Number 25 Transamari Road, Port Harcourt, River State. Avalanche assets limited. 1 million. Number 25 Transamari Road, Port Harcourt, River State. Capdex nominees limited. 1 million. Represented by Ifaiwa Adele. Number 25 Transamari, Port Harcourt, River State. Avalanche assets limited. 1 million. Represented by Obianco, Chinyure, DAC. Number 25 Transamari Road, Port Harcourt, River State. Note that in the official records, 1 million shares were not allotted. The company is duly registered and has made annual returns and paid for 2004 to 2013. The third beneficiary company, namely a result import export company of the same number 25 Transamari Road, Port Harcourt, River State, which received 15 million US dollars, has no traceable record of incorporation with the Corporate Affairs Commission CAC. Foreign transfers of 105 million US dollars on 1st and 8th of December 2014, seven separate foreign funds transfers totaling 105 million US dollars. We are made by the then Commissioner of Finance, Dr. Chamberlain S. Peterside, the Accountant General and Director of Treasury through the General Manager of Access Bank PLC at Moscow Road, Port Harcourt, River State, in favor of Avanti Consulting and Management Limited, a result import export company, Capital Index Limited, all with the official addresses as number 25 Transamadi Road, Port Harcourt, River State. There are many questions yearning answers in the transactions. Why would companies incorporated in Nigeria with all the addresses as number 25 Transamari Road, Port Harcourt, River State, have all funds transferred by the River State government to corresponding banks in New York, United States of America, with Duchess Bank Trust Company of number 280 Park Avenue, New York, United States, as intermediary bank? What were the natures of the contracts with the River State government and what operational expenses were the companies covering in the terms of the contract? How did the funds from the power assets or share proceeds relate to the three beneficiaries companies in the said foreign transactions if not to achieve a fraudulent and unlawful purpose? Let us present the details of the fund transfers. On December 1st, 2014, Dr. Chamberlain S. Peterside, alongside the Accountant General and the Director of Treasury, by a letter with reference COM slash finance CT slash 01 titled Re Transfer of 70 million US dollars from River State Government authorized the General Manager Access Bank PLC Moscow Road, Port Harcourt, River State, to transfer the sum of 70 million US dollars from our power access sales proceeds accounts to the underlisted account in the respective amounts indicated. In the first fund transfer standing, order from Access Bank PLC number 0268-5926 with a beneficiary as Advanti Consultant and Management Limited of number 25 Transamerity Road, Port Harcourt with the beneficiaries IBAN number foreign currency 201 eight six nine one seven seven five and beneficiary swift code of fbni ngla and beneficiary bank as first bank of nigeria lagos nigeria with the purpose of payment as operational expenses and utilizing as an intermediary bank duchess bank trust company of number 280 park avenue new york usa and bank big routing number swift code as bk through 533 and account number 044-35001 for the sum of 10 million us dollars in the second fund transfer standing order from access bank plc number 0268-5924 with a beneficiary as a result import export company of number 25 transamerity road Port Harcourt with the beneficiaries even number foreign currency 0049440550 and beneficiaries swift code of dbl 
NNGLA and Beneficiaries Bank as Diamond Bank PLC, Lagos, Nigeria, with the purpose of payment as operational expenses and utilizing as an intermediary bank, Citibank North America of number 111 Wall Street, New York, USA, and Bank Big. Routing number SWIFT code as a city. US 33 slash 021 and account number 36151409 for the sum of 15 million US dollars. And the third front transfer standing order form of Access Bank PLC number 0268 5923 with a beneficiary as Capital Index Limited of number 25 Transamadi Road, Port Harcourt with the beneficiaries IBAN number foreign currency 00562366628 beneficiary swift code not indicated with no intermediary bank but with a beneficiary's bank as access bank plc and beneficiary's bank address as transamadi put hackard and for the sum of 20 million us dollars and the fourth fund transferred standing order form of access bank plc number 0268 5925 with the beneficiaries as capital index limited of number 25 Transamari Road, Port Harcourt, with the beneficiaries even number foreign currency 00317963664 and beneficiaries swift code of DBL, NNGLA and beneficiaries bank as Diamond Bank PLC, Lagos, Nigeria with the purpose of payment as operational expenses and utilizing as intermediary bank, Citibank. North America of number 11 Wall Street, New York, USA, and Bank Beak, routing number SWIFT, code of City US 33-02100089, and account number 36151409 for the sum of 25 million US dollars. Again on 8 December 2014, Dr. Chamberlain S. Peter Side. River State Commissioner of Finance and Director of Treasury by a letter reference number CAM Finance slash C slash T02 titled Retransfer of 35 million US dollars from River State Government authorized the General Manager Access Bank PLC Moscow Road Port Harcourt River State to transfer the sum of 35 million US dollars from our power asset sales proceeds account to the underlisted account in the respective amount indicated. There were three different transfers. In the fifth fund transfer standing order form of Access Bank PLC number 0356485 of 8 December 2014 with a beneficiary as Capital Index Limited of number 25A Transamari Road, Port Harcourt with the beneficiaries IBAN number foreign currency 00562366628 and number swift and no beneficiaries routing number but with the beneficiaries bank as access bank plc and beneficiaries bank address as transamari world protect the purpose of payment was operational expenses capital project there was no intermediary bank indicated in this transaction the value of the foreign transfer was 15 million us dollars in the sixth fund transferred standing order form of Access Bank PLC number 03564528 of 8 December 2014 with beneficiaries at Capital Index Limited of number 25A Transamari Road, Port Harcourt, River State with the beneficiaries Aban number foreign currency 0056236628 and number SWIFT code and no beneficiaries routing number for the beneficiaries bank as access bank plc transamari road branch and the purpose of payment as capital project the value of the foreign transfer was 10 million us dollars in the seventh fund transfer standing order form of access bank plc number 0356-4484 of 8th december 2014 with beneficiaries as capital index limited of number 25A Transamari Road, Port Harcourt, River State, with beneficiaries even number a foreign currency 0562366628. No SWIFT code and no beneficiaries routing number for the beneficiaries bank as access bank PLC, beneficiaries bank address as Transamari Road, 
separate haircut. There was no intermediary bank name and address. A purpose of payment was giving us capital project. The value of the funds transferred was 10 million US dollars. The most alarming curiosity is contained in the summary of the statement of account issued by Access Bank PLC from its branches at Bank Road, opposite High Court Port Harcourt, with respect to the River State Government United States Dollars account, operated by the River State Ministry of Finance, Block C, ROSG, Secretary Port Harcourt, with account number 0064889429. The opening balance as of 30th October 2013 with advance payment acquisition for Janet Cost, Sahara had launchment of 35 million US dollars as credit. The next day, 31st of October 2013, it was withdrawn as AB, TRP, IHD at 155.80.35 35 for that value. Between December 2, 2014 and January 16, 2015, all the funds standing to the credit of River State Government valued at 239,504,356 dollars 43 cents We are withdrawn on the closing balance from 12 February 2015 as at 10 June 2015 stood at 29,783 dollars 13 cents only. So it can be conjectured that the account opened with Access Bank PLC was for the purpose of stealing the proceeds of the sale of the River State Independent Power Project. Yet some former officers of that ignoble regime claimed that the proceeds of the sale were captured in the 2015 appropriation law of the River State Government. There is thus a glaring case of stealing, unlawful enrichment and laundering of public funds in relation to the power access sales transaction which gives the anti-graft agencies reasonable cause to investigate, persecute and recover such funds for the state. May we ask, can monetary values really be ascribed to the worth of these independent power plants? Who are the actual beneficiaries of these assets disposed and what have they done for reverse people? Unlawful payment to and fraudulent conversion of four billion six hundred and thirty three million four hundred and forty thousand by Clinotech Town Key and Management Limited Background. On the twenty eighth day of january two thousand eight, the River State Government led by Governor Chibike Wotimia Mechi signed and executed a memorandum of understanding MOU with Clinotech Diagnostics and Pharmaceutical Incorporated Canada under public-private partnership arrangement for the building and operation of a mega 1,000-bed capacity specialist hospital and leisure facility in Port Harcourt to be known as the Justice Adolphus Caribbean White Specialist Hospital located at the Guruter Port Harcourt. Under the terms of the agreement, the parties incorporated a special purpose vehicle SPV called Clino Reef Hospital and Leisure Limited to deliver the said Justice Adolphus Caribbean White Specialist Hospital with the equity distribution of 40% and 60% between River State Government and Clinotech Diagnostic and Pharmaceutical Incorporated Canada, respectively. The project was initially estimated to cost a little above 98 million US dollars and based on the agreed equity distribution. The Canadian partner with 60% agreed to provide 60 million US dollars while the River State Government with a 40% equity allotment was to provide 39 million US dollars. The project was initially to be located at the former site of the University of Port Harcourt Teaching Hospital UPTH in the old Port Harcourt Township. A groundbreaking ceremony was performed on May 11, 2008 and Clinotech mobilized to a side after the first installment of 4,633,440,000 Naira only and the equivalent of $39,200,000 only at the then rate of 188.2 per dollar representing River State Government 40% share of the project cost. Clinotech was unable to fund its 60% equity contribution. The River State Government therefore suspended the Clino Reef joint venture and Governor Rochmi Amici performed the first magical art. 
He now awarded a project to Clinotech, Turnkey and Management Limited, said to be a subsidiary of Clinotech's Diagnostic and Pharmaceutical Incorporated Canada, while the River State Government now assumed 100% responsibility of the project cost. Governor Meiji Hohad on April 12, 2008, approved and authorized the payment of the aforesaid sum to Clinoviv Hospital and Leisure Limited through their bankers. First Bank PLC now converted the said contract to Clinotech Turnkey and Management Limited. Curiously, instead of making efforts to recover the money already paid to Clinoviv Specialist Hospital and Leisure Limited, the former governor turned 360 degrees to award a fresh contract to Clinotech Turnkey and Management Limited to construct this same hospital. He had earlier contracted with Clinoviv as the special purpose vehicle SPV between the parties in the agreement under the public private partnership arrangement. Funny enough, Clinotech Diagnostic and Pharmaceutical Incorporated Canada is said to be the parent company of Clinotech Tonki and Management Limited. For the purpose of public information, Clinotech Tonki and Management Limited, whose Nigerian address is number 10, Kanji Crescent, Matama Abuja, Nigeria, has one Dr. Harrison Ophia as its chairman and chief executive, while Mr. Ifai N. Osimeke born in a Sele Uku Delta State with Nigerian passport, number A039. 69030 is the company's lawful attorney and financial consultant and advisor. Even at that, not a single stone has been laid at the proposed site of the hospital up to today while Clinotech Tonki has disappeared with the equivalent of 8 billion Naira only at the official exchange rate of Naira to the dollar. Yet Governor Rotimi Amechi out of criminal negligence or sheer Connivance has maintained a studied silence for seven years without making any efforts to retrieve the money he unlawfully paid to Clinotech Tonki for the failed Caribbe White Specialist Hospital project. In fact, by a so called agreement executed on 19th March 2014 between the River State Government, represented by the then Honorable Commissioner of Health, Dr. T. Samson Parker, and Clinotech Tonki and Management Limited as contractor and witnessed by the Honorable Mogu Bombs as Attorney General and Commissioner of Justice. The parties acknowledged by virtue of a said resolution that it was a failed 1,000 bed Justice Adolphus Caribbean White Mega Specialist Hospital contract. No effort whatsoever was made to recover River State public funds legally or fraudulently disbursed. To further appreciate the complexity and financial mess associated with the scam called Justice Adolphus Caribbean White Specialist Hospital, on the 5th May 2010, Right Honorable Chubike Amechi, as Governor of River State, while on a routine inspection of the project site, ordered immediate suspension and evacuation of Clinotech, Tonki and Management Limited because he was allegedly dissatisfied that the work done vis a vis the amount of money already released to the contractor was still at basement level of 15 story complex, later scaled down to 12 story structure. Covering an area of measuring 352,000 square meters, the project was due to be completed and delivered January 2011. In a memo to Governor Amici, Dr. Samson Parker, Commissioner of Health, dated 11 February 2014, the Commissioner acknowledged that a Clinotech Turnkey Management Limited, Clinotech, a Canadian company, partnered with government to build the hospital initially as a public-private partnership concern, but being not able to fund their partnership commitment was later converted to a contractor to do the job. Yet, rather than recover the huge funds of over 4.6 billion Naira paid out, the Amici led government entered into a yet another so called agreement dated 19 March 2014, in which it alleged that following the completion of its investigation by a technical committee in the failed project, the sum of 272,130,631 Naira, 50 Kobo, were refunded by the contractor of the River State Government through the Ministry of Health as money hard and received in excess of actual work done under the Justice Adolphus K. 
Caribbe White Hospital contract. Meanwhile, today there is no 15-story or 12-story complex containing Justice Adolfo's Caribbe White Specialist Hospital anywhere in River State, nor did the River State government recover the huge finances paid out to Clinotech, Tonkey, and Management Limited. What a bizarre story. Here also our findings revealed a glaring case of abuse of office, unlawful enrichment, and criminal conspiracy to convert public funds to private use, requiring the intervention of the EFCC. Unlawful enrichment of Mrs. Collect Nigeria Limited with public funds to the tune of 1,505,895,000 698 Naira, 70 Kabo. Background. River State Internal Revenue Service, RSIRS, were generating an average of 7 billion 500 million as eternally generated revenue, IGR, for the River State government every month, wherein it retains 5% to meet its administrative and overhead costs. On or about the 22nd of December 2014, the former governor of the state, Right Honorable Rotimi Amechi, contracted Mrs. Collect Solution Nigeria Limited as a revenue consultant to support the River State Internal Revenue Service. By a curious and spurious term of engagement, the River State government under Governor Amechi fraudulently conceded to paying a whooping 12% fee to Mrs. Collect Solution Nigeria Limited for any sum of internally generated revenue IGR collected in excess of 2,500,000,000 Naira only for the state government. By a letter dated March 30, 2015, the River State Internal Revenue Service protested against the outrageous arrangement and fees donated to the consultant as completely unjustified. The ROSIRS questioned the rationale behind reducing the monthly collectible revenue from 7 billion 500 million on the average to 2 billion 500 million naira and the unlawful exclusion of the River State Internal Revenue Service from performing its lawful duties under the contract agreement. In spite of the protest, a former Governor Mechi approved and authorized the payment of a total sum of 1,505,895,698 Naira, 72 Kobo, in two installment to Messrs. Collection Solution Nigeria Limited between February and March 2015. In whose interest was a controversial tax consultancy contract awarded? It is acknowledged that any government properly so-called is at liberty to award contracts, provided due process especially, as compressed by our new order, is followed. Here are certainly some disturbing controversial issues in this River State consultancy contract and whose interest or was the revenue contract made and to what advantage. Here is in existence the River State Internal Revenue Service, established by law in particular, Law No. 12 of 2012 granted that River State Internal Revenue Service administrative and financial autonomy under the law. The River State Internal Revenue Service retains a 5% as administrative cost for the revenue it generates. By the end of December 2014, the River State Internal Revenue Service was generating an average of 7.5 billion naira monthly. Yet, in January 2015, the River State Government under Chibike Rotumi Amechi entered into a memorandum of agreement with a new tax collection consultant. It will appear from the subsequent correspondence between the Executive Chairman of the River State Internal Revenue Service and the then River State Commissioner of Finance, Dr. Chamberlain Pritticide, that the River State Internal Revenue Service was not a party to the negotiations that led to the memorandum of agreement between the River State Government and Mrs. Collect Solution Nigeria Limited as the new tax collection consultant. The curiosity in the transaction is particularly more worrisome especially as the agreement was executed by the parties on January 21, 2015, but took effect from January 1, 2015. One crucial clause states that the new consultant shall be entitled to fees amounting to 12% of revenues collected above 2.5 billion naira 
I recall that River State Internal Revenue Service was already about 7.5 billion naira monthly. So why lower the threshold to 2.5 billion and why increase the percentage ratio of fees? The River State Internal Revenue Service was empowered to retain 5%, yet a new consultant was being granted 12% with much lower threshold of internally generated revenue IGR collected. In all of these, there was no indication that the state's collectible internally generated revenue had dwindled, nor had the River State Internal Revenue Service become suddenly incapable of meeting its targets. Notably, the executive chairman of the River State Internal Revenue Service raised objection to the rationale for the fee clauses in the Memorandum of Agreement in addition to a clause that had the effect of excluding River State government officials from setting collection duties. The former River State Commissioner of Finance responded stating that, I am dismayed to note that after our last meeting, where I have painstakingly explained to you the rationale behind the engagement of the said consultants and despite the approval and express instructions from His Excellency the Executive Governor Amechi you have continued to raise reservation as on the actions. Also, the former Commissioner of Finance, Dr. Chamberlain S. Peterside, advised, If for any reason you have further grievances, I urge you to direct that to His Excellency, the Executive Governor. However, what should trigger an alarm are the circumstances of payment to the consultants. The agreement was signed on January 21, 2015 with retrospective effect from January 1, 2015 and February 4, 2015, the consultant wrote demanding their fees. The consultant stated that the revenue collected for January 2015 was 10.34 billion, out of which it demanded 12%. The request papers were processed, and on February 17, 2015, the then Governor Meiji approved the payment of 941 million. 330,661 Naira, 12 Kobo, as commissioned to the consultant and a mandate for the release of funds for payment was signed by the Treasury on February 23, 2015. Again on March 5, 2015, the consultant wrote, relying on the Memorandum of Agreement demanding to be paid commission on revenue collected for February 2015, the total revenue being 7 billion 204 million naira. The consultant demanded fees amounting to 564 million 565 thousand and 37 naira 60 kobo. The request was processed and then Governor Michi approved payment on March 12, 2015, while the Treasury released the mandate for payment on March 24, 2015. The issue here is why would the River State government led by Rotmi Amechi deliberately enter into an agreement that should change the state because it is making hefty commission payment to a consultancy firm about which serious questions were raised by the State Internal Revenue Service. What was the motive in lowering the threshold of revenue collected as functions of commission payable? Why would the state incur financial losses through consultancy fees without value addition? Also suspicious is the speed with which the demand for fees commission was made, processed, approved by former Governor Amici and paid out, and knowing the usual pays as such matters are handled. January ended on the 21st, and four days later the consultant had full details of how much was collected such jet speed accuracy in determining what was collected even with the e-collection system is not only alarming but also a smoking gun. What was the practice before this particular electronical efficient consultant was appointed? In the end, former Governor Rutmi Amici and some of his officials still have a lot of clarification to make. If federal agencies are being audited and probed, why should River State government former functionaries be exempted? It should be noted that Collect Solution Nigeria Limited was not qualified to be contracted as a revenue consultant in the first place, as at the time it was so engaged and in questionable circumstances.
Furthermore, it was obvious that Collect Solution Nigeria Limited was used as a conduit pipe to defraud the state government under the guise of consultancy. The entire transaction was just a scam. Prayers. On the strength of the foregoing, the Integrity Group respectfully request all the relevant anti-graph agencies and public authorities with enabling powers to do their public duties, namely investigate and prosecute Right Honorable Rotumi Chubike Amechi and all state functionaries and companies involved in or connected with the corruption, criminal breach of trust, unlawful enrichment and criminal diversion and conversion of public funds in relations to the above mentioned and other transactions. Recovered all monies illegally paid out to third parties from these transactions and returned same to the coffers of the River State Government. Conclusion Clearly, the River State Government incurred heavy financial losses amounting to over 70 billion naira from the aforementioned criminal transactions. Above all, the conduct, action, and inactions of Right Honorable Rotimi Amechi and his functionaries in each and every of these transactions were unlawful and done intently for corrupt and criminal purposes.